two files that absolutely must be present in order to effectively manage memory with DOS are HiMem.sys, which is device drivers for all memory above 640K. HiMem.sys will load the device drivers high. It's often executed by device equals C DOS HiMem.sys and this is put into a config.sys file, which we'll take a look at in just a second. emm386.exe is another file. It manages memory addresses in upper memory and also can be used to emulate expanded memory. So we have to free up some special memory spaces. This is called the upper memory block. So the upper memory block is a group of consecutive memory addresses in RAM from the 640K to the 1 megabyte area. In other words, the upper memory area, but not the entire 384K of the upper memory area, just a space that is contiguous. Loading high is the process of loading a driver or a TSR into that upper memory area. And what we do is we force the device drivers to load high by using a config sys file. And in the config sys file, we type device equals C colon backslash DOS backslash HiMem.sys. That has to be the first line in the file. The second line will use the EMM386 file. In this case, we're using the EMM386 by typing device equals C colon backslash DOS backslash EMM386.exe space and then the no expanded memory switch. We can also use the autoexec.bat file and the autoexec.bat file is used to load TSRs, terminate stay resident programs, into upper memory. Terminate stay resident programs are programs that start when the operating system is started, but we wouldn't know they were there until we actually need to use them and then they operate for us. Like for example, Smart Drive, which is used for faster copying of files from one source to another. We can also use the config.sys file to simulate expanded memory. In this case, we would start off with the same line, device equals C colon backslash DOS backslash HiMem.sys, but the next line would be device equals C colon backslash DOS backslash emm386.exe and then a space and then the amount of expanded memory that we wanted to free up and then a space and then the word RAM, R-A-M. This will simulate, in this case we are going to simulate 1024K of RAM, in other words 1 meg of RAM. We can determine how much memory of each type is available and installed on our computer using the mem command. If we type mem at a command prompt from a DOS operating system, we will determine how much conventional memory we have, how much upper, and how much extended memory, and then how much expanded memory. We can also determine whether DOS itself is loaded high. DOS has a way of getting out of its own way by loading itself high into the first 64K of extended memory. This frees up even more memory in the first 640K of conventional memory. In order to determine and to change the amount of memory or the way that we are allocating memory, we can use a program called MemMaker. 
MemMaker came out with DOS 6.0, and any DOS above 6.0 would include Memory MemMaker. This is a utility that can increase the amount of conventional memory available to DOS-based software applications by loading the drivers and the TSRs into upper memory. My recommendation on MemMaker is if you run MemMaker and it finds anything that will improve the memory, then run it again because it will get things out of its way so that it can see even more. And don't stop running MemMaker until it doesn't find anything more. At that point, then you're done. So now next, we'll take a look at some specific memory management in Windows 9X programs.